Welcome, children. Sit down, daughter. And as we enter the sacred pages of Bhagavad Gita, again, just like before, you come up there or you enter Mandir, you have to take out your footwear, not so sunset, yes. Right. So too, when you're entering the scriptures, there are mental slippers you must take off and bear your souls before God, literally. In the same way you leave your slippers outside and you enter the Mandir, any worries, problems, janja, difficulties, let it go, beloved. If you come in a low tower full with worries, no kata could put any blessings in there. You're full of yourself. I mean, the lota is full already. Empty out your worries and your problems. That's why people bow when they enter and say, Bhagwan, I thought I knew. May your blessings fill and fulfill me. Even if you didn't come to pray with children, still pray. You wouldn't lose. Now, bring all your fingers together, all your thoughts, all your vastness. Bring them here. Point your fingers upwards and let your palms come by your heart. When you the object of worship are infinite and the instruments with which we will pray, this poor mind, this limited intellect, how can it fathom you, Prabhu? With clasped hands, hand your kar. Ab santan, aapke samne aate hai prabhu. Aapke vandana karte hai. Hi Lakshmi Pati Sri Narayan Shir se bhakti bhav se hum bhakta jino aapke naman karte hai. Sahayta dijiye prabhu. Help us to love you prabhu. We cannot reach you. Baha pakar lo sham. Take our hand prabhu and bring us into your divine company. Prasann ho prabhu. Prasann ho prabhu. Every time we offer a mantra, please share how we have flower, offer a flower of love in your minds and a tulsi leaf. Om Shri Ganesha Yenamaha Om Shri Saraswati Namaha Om Shri Guru Charn Kamale Bhyo Namaha Now together Om Namah Shivai Om The Heart Healing Mantra Om Namah Shivai The Soul Soothing Mantra Om Namah Shivai The Mind Massaging Mantra Om Namah Shivai Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Now I am doing the Guru Maharaj to the Guru Maharaj. In which the Guru Ji is far away from the knowledge of the Guru. And the Divya Prakashit is the knowledge of the Guru. Hey Guru Dev, let us pray for you. Let us pray for you Guru Dev. Om Shri Sarvadi Uta Sarvadi Vyai Namah Om Shri Hanumate Namah Om Shri Mahadurga Mahata Namah Om Shri Bhairavaya Namah Om Shri Parabrahm Paramatmane Namah We bow to all the rishis and munis and pandits and sadhus who came before us. We bow to all the divine energies which exist here and which come from all the different directions. May you be favorable. All the God-realized souls, all the Paramahansas, all the living masters, the Himalayan masters. Like a radio being turned on and receiving frequencies, may we receive your blessings as well too, and your support. Favor us. 
ओम श्री सनक सनंदन सनातन सनत कुमार देव ऋषि नारद मुनि देवाय नम भगवान वी सी यू स्टैंडिंग क्लाद इन सिल्क एंड होटी जिनके सिर में मोर मुकुट शबायमान दे रहे हैं दद्या नदी के किनारे ग्वाल बाल रक्षा करते करते पीकॉक फैदा स्वेंग एंड डांसिंग ब्लोज प्रभो विसिया चार्मिंग स्माइल प्लेग ऑन योर फेस वी सी योर हैंड रेस टू ब्लेस ऑल ऑफ अस प्रभो ओ प्ले ऑफ द फ्लूट यू हू गो इन सर्च ऑफ द लॉस्ट काव एंड बच्चा एंड बछड़ा मे यू कम इन सर्च ऑफ योर चिल्ड्रन हू हैव लॉस्ट दे वे इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड and lead us back into your presence bolo children mukam karoti vachalam pangum langhayate girim yat kripa tamaham vande paramanandam madava vasudeva sutam devam kansa chanur mardanam देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगत गुरु कृष्ण वंदे जगत गुरु व्यास महाराज जी हु कंपोज एंड कंपाइल ऑल स्क्रिप्चर्स इंक्लूसिव ऑफ द महाभारत द हार्ट ऑफ व्हिच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स द भगवत गीता आवर सैल्यूटेशंस वसुदेव सुतम देव कंस चानुर्मर्दनम देव की परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगत गुरु नमोस्तुते व्यास विशाल बुधे पुलार विंदायत पत्र नेत्र येन त्वया भारतल पूर्ण प्रज्वालिटो ज्ञानमय प्रदीप अब मैं वेद व्यास जी को बारम्बार वंदना करता हूँ जिन व्यास जी ने चार वेद चय शास्त्र अठारह पुराण को व्याख्या की जिन्होंने महाभारत अर्थात भगवत गीता को निर्माण किए उन वेद व्यास जी को हम बारंबार वंदना करते हैं बारंबार वंदना करते हैं बारंबार वंदना करते हैं बिलाविद ऑफ एन ब्यूटिफुल फ्लावर्स येलो फ्लावर्स एट द फीट ऑफ भगवान श्री विष्णु ओ देर इज लक्ष्मी माता इज वेल मसाजी फीट प्लीज ऑफ आर रेड फ्लावर अ पिंक वन ऑफ यर तुलसी लीव्स See the smiling faces and their grace flowing towards us. Jin ki akriti ati shay shant hai. Jo sheshna ki shayya par shayn ke ho hai. Jin ki nabi me kamal hai. Jo devtao ke bhi devta hai. Lakshmi pati, Sri Narayan, Shri se bhakti bhav se. Ham bhakta juno. Aapke naman karte hai, Prabhu. Daya kare, Prabhu. We love you, children. With all your love, shanta karam. भुजग शयनम पद्मनाभम सुरेशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगम लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगी भिध्यान रम्यम वंदे विष्णु गोविंद बोलो हरि गोपाल बोलो 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 गोविंद बोलो हरि गोपाल बोल गोविंद बोल हरि गोपाल बोलो गोविंद बोलो हरि गोपाल बोलो गोविंद बोलो हरि गोपाल हरे हरे राम राम हरे हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण 
Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Children, offer the flowers in your hands, offer your tulsi leaves, your hands and all free to clap and your lips to pray together. Go in the jai jai, go pal jai jai, go in the jai jai, go pal jai jai, go in the jai jai, go pal jai jai. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Jai Bolo Om Namah Shivaya, Bolo Om Namah Shivaya, Bolo Har 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 Mahadev, Bolo Har 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 Mahadev, Bolo Har 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 बोलो बच्चों वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय बोलो प्यारे वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की बिलाबिल चल्रन भगवत गीता presents a message for a crying humanity thank you child when you see how life is going, family life, when you read newspapers, you feel to bawl and cry. You excuse children for crying, but grown-ups will think, what can I do about it? A mother will attend to the child. What does a politician do? What do good people do? Welcome, children. But good Gita gives the answers to today's questions. It is ever eternal, ever relevant. Arjun asks many questions and Krishna Bhagwan pro provides all the answers. In fact, beloved children, there is a part where Krishna Bhagwan is teaching all the gyan. What is life? What is death? Why do near and dear ones have to pass away? And Bhagwan teaches, Na jayate mriyateva kadachin Nayam bhutva bhavita vana bhuya ajo nitya shashvato yam purano nahanyate anyamane sharire. Child, when you ask somebody what is death, they'll say the absence of life. That is no explanation. If I ask you what is black, you'll say not white. What kind of answer is that? So Bhagwan explains what this soul is and what this body is. That once you're born, you must die. When a baby is born, you love the baby. You don't come five years later and say, where's the baby? And they show you a toddler, five years old, you start to cry, eh, where the baby? No, this is the baby. The baby has grown to become a toddler. When the toddler, the five-year-old, becomes a teenager and has a mustache and the voice changes, you don't say, where's the young man who's five years old? How old are you, son? Son, how old are you? How much years do you have? Whoa! Nine. See, nine is fine. The highest number is nine. You have to go back to one and zero after. You don't say, where's the nine-year-old fella? You're missing him. No, that's the same fella. He's moved on. If somebody were to come later, where's the teenager used to be here playing football and cricket? No, he's married. This is a young man now and he has children of his own. You don't start crying for the teenager. He has moved on. You understand, son? Now, when you get old, they said, they have an old fella live in. Start to bawl and cry. No, he has moved on. It's not death, it's called transition. You're transitioning. We're all here in a waiting room in the VIP section lounge. And it's your choice what ticket you're going on, where you want to go if you're ever deported or reported. You following me? Arjun is hearing all this Brahmagyan. He's learning about actions. He said, No, I want an example, Prabhu, so I could follow it. Bhagwan smiles. He says, Child. Stitus prajna seka bhasha samadhi stasya keshava. Stita dehi kim prabhashita kim asita prajeta kim. Tell me, how does that person sit? 
the perfect person about whom you speak, who, can, who knows how to talk, who reacts you know, when somebody passes away, they're grieving and falling apart. Your mom dies, and every time you hear, Ma, Teri, Mom, you start to break up and cry. You can't drive the car, you know, we have to support Didi. Every time she says, Ma, Teri, Mom, ta, she remembers Mommy. Samadhi sta sekeshava. If their mind is on God, how can you move forward and fight the battle of life? Bhagavan says, Prajaha tiyadaka man sarvan parthamanogatan atman evatman atushta status prajnasya dochate. So now, nah. oh, you saw Babra Stok and put a finger. So, one is somebody else, why does point like that? When Krishna Bhagavan is speaking in Bhagavad Gita, why he was point? He's pointing to the flag of Anumanji on top. You want to see a perfect example of karma? Look, he on top of the flag flying there, Hanumanji. His mind always on Bhagwan. Therefore, if he has to lift a heavy mountain, Jai Shri Ram, he has a smile on his face and God in his heart. All of you have your mountains, but some people have been crushed and they can't handle it. They get depressed and suicidal. Son, God in your heart, Shri Ram Nam on your mind, a smile on your face, Jai Shri Ram. He says, that person, because their mind is on Bhagwan, Prajahati Adakaman, Sarvan Parthaman Gotan, Atman Nev, their mind, their heart is central in Bhagavan. Atma Tushta, Stitas Prajna Syadochate. And when you have that, Dukheshu Udrignamana, Sukheshu Vigatas Prihaha, Bita Raga, Bhaya Karodha, Stitadhir Muni Rochate. Once you live in here, daughter, you one day you must feel to cry, one day you're happy, one day somebody gets your, they get your backs, you didn't get backs, eh? They provoke you, and daughter? The next day you're happy, no ups and downs. But if your mind learns to focus on Bhagwan like an eagle before the storm, rises above the storm, then you're not blown apart. Excuse me. One day you might have to go on a puja for somebody, Baba. Somebody dies. Same day a child is born. If you start to bow along the place and cry in the funeral, Baba, start to laugh, what? <laughs> They say, mad. you have to have that equanimity. Means, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Whether it's shame or blame or fame, or whatever it is, people will tell you good morning or they speak to you in French. You don't lose your cool. It means you're not never happy. You depend on people to be happy. If they smile and speak, how are you? Oh, fine, thank I like how I'm happy. Somebody says, hey, what can I drive you again, Mary? You depending on that man and that car, children, to make you happy. Bhagavan says, Dukheshu Dvignamana, Sukheshu Bigatas Prehaha, Bita Raga Bhaya Krodha Stita Dhirmoni Rochate. And he continues to teach him, Ya Sarvatra Navisneha Stata Prapya Shubha Shubham, whether you get goodness or not goodness. Shubha Ashubha, whether somebody says, Oh, you're real nice, you talk real good, Bhagavan bless you. Then Pundit turns to Bhagavan bless you. Do you understand? Whether you talk nice with the flowers, the rose, or whether you insult it, it doesn't refuse to become fragrant. The milk in the cow doesn't change color if you curse it or you fame it or blame it. You follow me, Sona? Bhagwan, Shri Krishna is giving all his gyan. Yada sanharte chayam kurmo gani vasarvasha indriyan indriya tevya tasya prajna pratishthita. Learn how to not react. But with God in your mind, just overflow with joy and peace and blessings to your children, to everybody. Listen, yada sanharte chai kurma, kurma means a turtle. Gani vasarvasha, indriyan indriyarte bhyattasya prajna pratishtita. Daughter, in the same way, son, a son, you ever see a turtle? You're missing out if you don't see one. And if, when you go near a turtle with a piece of stick, what would the turtle do? Jai Bhagwan, correct. It withdraws all its limbs. Bhagwan is saying the same way. Don't let go of your mouth. Withdraw. Sit around, children, welcome. Read my book on anger matters. Withdraw. Don't run away from your troubles. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. And Bhagwan goes on and on and on until his sixth chapter. And he's teaching now how to sit. He teaches who is your best friend. Chapter 6, verses 5 and 6. Homework for everybody. You have my son? Uh -huh. Chapter 6, verses 5 and? Remember cricket. Hit them for 6. Chapter 6, verse 6, 5 and 6. How to know who is your best friend? How to develop yourself spiritually? And beloved, after all that, our Arjun asks a question. 
And you will now see why I went to all those details. You see all what Bhagavan Krishna taught him? Yeah, and look how you caught on to it. Bhagavan Krishna is saying, be, be intelligent. Having heard, are you going home and practice that? Are you going to forget everything and start talking stupidness right after the cut? Is your life going to change? Are you just happy with the way you're going? You don't care to become better people? Arjun wants to become a better person. So he asks this question. Beloved, we're continuing in chapter 6 now. When you go home, it's from verse 36. It's a 3 and a 6. 3 and 3 is 6. I'm helping you to remember it. 36, like they ain't getting along. The 3 faces and so, and the 6 faces and so. Now, in the end, you will learn how to get along. Arjun, after all of this, the Arjun, who could stand on his, his toes and chant, Om Namah Shivaya, not stop, until Bhagwan Shiv appeared. Who could take a bone arrow, Pranavadhanu Sharuhi Atman, Brahma Talakshumachate, and aim at God, his mind as an arrow. Who could focus? He teaches us humility. And he says at this point, Bhagwan, together. Ready, Devuta? Natvar Nagar Nanda Bhajore Man Govinda Natvar Nagar Nanda Bhajore Man Govinda Children! Natvar Nagar Nanda Bhajore Man Govinda Natvar Nagar Nanda Bhajore Man Shyam Sundar Mukh Chanda Bhajore Man Govinda Shyam Sundar Mukh Chanda Bhajore Man Govinda श्रद्धयो पेतो योगा चलत आत्मनः सह अप्राप्यम योग समसिद्धिम काम गतिम कृष्ण गच्छति अप्राप्य योग समसिद्धिम काम गति कृष्ण गच्छति ये कृष्ण जो योग में श्रद्धा रखने वाले हैं किंतु सम्यी नहीं है इसी कारण जिसके मन अंतकाल में योग से विचलित हो गया है तो ऐसा साधक योगी के सिद्धि को अर्थात Bhava Sakshakari to Prabhu Hokar Kis Gupta me Prabhu Hotahe Narayana Ye Krishna Ye Govinda Ye Namu Namaha Arjun now says Bhagwan, I understand what you're saying. But this mind Prabhu is not steady. I can I can understand what you're saying. Somebody dies. Om Namu Bhagavate Vasudevaya. But it can't remain in peace. I will hear a song and remember that father used to like that song, daddy used to like this song, mommy used to like this song, and the mind drifts. My mind can't remain on peace and joy and bliss all the time. Welcome, children. Please be seated. Thank you for coming. Narayanaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Nama Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatmaya Namo Nama Chanchalam hi manah krishna, pramati valvadradham, tasyam nigraham manye, vayur eva sudushkritam, om namo bhagavate vasudevaya. And he uses four adjectives to describe this mind. Now I want all of you to sit upright. Inhale, hold your breath and exhale. Now when you're inhaling, listen to the sound of your breath coming in. Om, inhale. Listen to the sound of your breath coming out. Now when you inhale, in your mind recite Om. Follow the breath as it goes right down to your belly, children. And exhale. Bolo Vrindavan Vihadi Laliki. Now, open your eyes. When you were breathing, where was your mind? It was right here by your nose. Not so? It wasn't running, what do I have to do tomorrow? What should I cook this evening? What should I wear? What should I add for the For a moment, your mind came home. And when you pray like that, the mind said, thank you very much. Your own mind, and you don't care if I'm running like a dog all over the place. Even when you're sleeping in dream, you have me running all over the place. And for just one, a few seconds, you brought me home. Your own mind, 
and you don't keep it near you. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Think about it, Lal. Even you're dreaming, you're, you're gear, but your mind is running all night. You slept, but you didn't get any rest. He says, Bhagwan, forgive me. I would like if all the time my mind was, Jai Bhagwan, if hot water falls on me, Jai Bhagwan, Om Namah Shivaya. If somebody tells so insulting, Jai Bhagwan, God bless you. If somebody gives me a bad drive, Jai Bhagwan, God but I can't do it. My own mind doesn't stay with me. Hmm? If I see on, I, I will spend on TV, my mind runs to the fridge. Chanchalam hi mana Krishna, the mind is chanchal. Like a little boy, a little hardened child, not you, Lal, not your daughter. A had you say child chanchal, the mind running all over the place. If Baba says, sit upright and chant Om Namah Shivai, you will start saying Om Namah Shivai, but your mind will start to move. Eh, it makes it hot here. Your mind will run, I wonder if you forget to lock the car door. You might, after I am the sari, I wonder if I unplug the heater. Chanchal, the mind keeps running, it doesn't stay one place. That's why in every Hindu home, you have so many Hindu pictures, your friends might ask you one day, how come you have so many pictures? The mind is so fickle, son. So fickle daughter, you need reminders to think about God. There's Vishnu Bhagavan, there's Shivji, there's Durga Maya, there's Tulsi Maharani. Pramati Valabhadradham. Beloved children, different adjective. The mind is strong, the mind is tenacious, the mind is fickle, the mind is turbulent. The same person who's happy this morning could be very angry later. And of course, you blame somebody else. The same person you can say, I love you to today, tomorrow, lay low apart. This mind, I used to love, but I don't anymore. The same mind is praying, that loves God, and exit, I don't believe in God. Prabhu, how can I control this mind? The mind is powerful, just a little point I'd like to make to you. There are some people who think they see God or they see DVIL and it's not real. Some psychosis, some mental, psychological problem they have and they believe it's real. Sometimes it's more than just puja, you need psychiatric help. Nothing is wrong to so they think I'm mad, they send my psychiatrist. No. Sometimes children, if you need professional help, your daughter, your son, somebody in your marriage, Sometimes there are medications that can help you. Even Bhagwan Shri Krishna, Bhagwan Shri Ram, when Lakshman Bhaya fell, they said, go and get a doctor. Why should somebody chant a mantra and get him better? It's a message for me to know, hey, I can't say chant Hanuman Chalis all the time. Sometimes, daughter, you need somebody's qualified, like Vaidya Sushin, that you need some kind of medication to help your psychosis. You're getting too violent now, or your addiction to alcohol is too much, you need help. Are you following me, children? The mind is powerful. It can make your home heaven, and it can make your home the next side. It starts with H-E, not S-H-E. But when the mind is like that, how can I be always prayerful, cheerful, joyful, Jai Bhagwan? If you come to Safala, one slap. I doubt he will say, turn the other cheek. I asked Guruji about that. He says, son, that's not for everybody. I said, well, Guruji, I said, turn the other cheek. He said, after a while, son, you run out of cheeks. <laughs> that he was teaching us lati at the time, how every home should have a lati, and learn how to use it, how to block, put your hands like this, so if you hit son, and the stick slides off, it doesn't hit your fingers. You block and you move like this, and how you move like Hanumanji. Gandhi, Mahatma, spoke of peace, but you always walk with a stick. Never be cowards pretending to be people of peace. Have your black belt, not just to hold up your pants. Learn self-defense and then talk peace. Otherwise, you'll be speaking like a coward. Learn to defend yourself. Learn martial arts. Be strong and then talk peace. So nobody will say you're a coward. Are you following me, children? So if I don't hit you, it's not because I, I'm afraid of you. I don't need to. I love you so much, I'll forgive you. And if I have to, I'll take you down without hurting you. Do you follow, children? This is mine, Prabhu. All these adjectives he's giving to it. And therefore, Bhagwan, I, it is, you can't even control a hurricane. Daughter, if the hurricane starts, you could take you to hand and push it back. 
Just like a person who fly off in anger and rage. You can't stop that hurricane sometimes. This mind is that hurricane. Bhagwan, you tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. You're the best one who can guide me in this one. Satya Narayan, Narayan, Narayan. Satya Narayan, Narayan, Narayan. Satya Narayan, Narayan. Asanshaya Mahabaho Manudur Nigraham Chalam Abhyasenu to Kaunteya Vairagena Chagrihite Bolo Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vrindavan Vihari Laliki This is what I love about Bhagwan Shri Krishna. Daughter, daughter, this is what I love about Bhagwan Shri Krishna. Vev. Son, this is what I love about Bhagwan Shri Krishna. All that I told you, he was teaching Arjun all the time. And I told you, Prajahati, Adakaman, I told the child about the turtle. He is giving examples and stories to his son. And now Arjun says, I can't do it. Does he just say, well, I'm fed up. How much better I could God himself teaching you? Are you telling me you can't understand, you can't do it? Go and find somebody else. Sometimes children, any one of us, even with our children, you know what, go and talk to your father. You know what, go and talk to your mother. Maybe you, maybe you could talk to him. Bhagwan is teaching, don't get fed up. He says, and sanshaya maha, asansh, sanshaya means doubt. Asanshaya means without doubt. He says, child, without doubt, I agree with you. I understand what you're saying. The mind is difficult to understand and to curb and to control and to subdue. If I say, forget your trouble and chant to Namah Shivai, you will start, but then your mind will go back like a needle to a magnet with your troubles. Welcome, children. Welcome, Devta. That's how the mind is. And Krishna Bhagwan doesn't say, you can't follow because you're a bad disciple or a bad student. He says, son, I understand the mind is hard to control. Even in satsang, you start off good, good with the Baba Satya Narayan. <laughs> and nobody will buff you up. We said, you come, you, you didn't bathe and put on clothes to come here for the Baba to buff you. Maybe if it's a little more interesting, you might get interested. Maybe you say, Bull Satya you might jump up and start to pray again too. <laughs> We are happy you came, but this mind, I want to pray God, but my mind, I know I'm going to hear a good katha, but my mind will go. Don't buff up people. First you say, child, I agree with you. I know how it is. I used to be young too. I say, I'm going to hear this to go on. And be interesting, then I may be interested. Bhagwan, my mind can't go like that. Bhagwan says, child, I, I understand and I agree with you. So if you come and say, Baba, I want to come to the satsang, but all you hear is nothing talking about my marriage to help me, nothing talking about how to help me with my children or my, my problems, I must say, child, I understand, and not to say, who's you to talk? Or maybe you, your brains can't pick up with the high level of knowledge. Or I could learn from Krishna Bhagwan and says, babe, I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you, some things are hard to understand. May God bless me to be able to teach it to you in such a way you will understand. Do you follow? My Dulehan, a teacher. When I say, what are you worrying about? There are two children in the back and they can't understand this concept of displacement. In my day, there was one solution, whack, 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 whack. <laughs> they call it patai ke chokha. Plenty pepper. Out of fear, you go home and learn everything, student's companion. Abandon, desert, forsake, leave, a bridge, curtail, a bridge, compress, predict, pre I know all of them by heart up to now. Because you're, you're afraid licks. Now the teacher is challenged, not to say a dunce, but how can I help you? I agree, it's hard to understand. 
and she came up with a nice solution. Tell him the story about the bird, and there was a little bit of water, and he couldn't reach with the beak. And tell him he put one stone, two stones, three pebbles, four, and the level raised up, and the bird was able to drink. And when they understand the story, he said, that was displacement. The stone here, water raised up, and he's able to have it. The good teacher is challenged. If I feel I have to buff you, beat you, condemn you, then something's wrong with me as a teacher, that I can't have the capacity to know how to reach you. That's my challenge. Are you following me? So Krishna Bhagwan says, child, I agree with you. The mind, but he doesn't call him a region. Don't, for, don't worry about the English translation. English translation. He calls him Mahabahu. A sunshaya, Mahabahu. Maha means great, big, strong. Bahu means arms. I agree with you, O oh strong fella. You see? It's a double psychology. Son, he's saying, um, maybe you feel your camp already sunk. Oh fella who could have good breath and you could do 16 push-ups without anything. How much push-ups you do? A whole lot. It sounds like that to me. So he's agree, you're a strong fella. Meaning, you're not weak people. You are strong people, you could do it. Baba, when I come, satsangar has fall asleep. Oh, you could sit on whole night and watch TV, I have a kata for you. He was just tell you, you're able to stay up whole night, but to watch TV. Maybe if I could be as interesting, maybe the message is relevant, or even more so. Mahabaho, not Arjun, forget it. In fact, he calls him another name as well too. Manudur Nigraham Chalam. Abhyase nu to Kaunteya. He calls him Kaunteya, which means, O oh, son of Kunti Devi. Bolo Bhagwati Devi Mata ki. Asanche Mahabahu. He says, Abhyase nu to Kaunteya, O oh, son of Kunti Devi. If you keep practicing a little bit every day, you could do it. See what he did there? He compares, he reminds him of whose son he is. So, son, if you behave in bad one day, Lal, I like your mustache. What was your father's name? Mahadev. That is a name to have. Mahadev. So, if I catch you with a C-I-G-A-R-E-T-T-E in your hand, or the wrong thing to drink, and I say, oh, son of Mahadev. You say, my father never behaved so. You follow? I remind you, even if you see me one day buffing up people in Qatar, I say, Krishna Pandit, son, how are you going? And so, check, my father didn't buff anybody. People didn't put you here to buff them up or tell them how bad they are. So he reminds him, your mother died when your children were young. But she didn't give up her dharma. Your mother didn't have a father for two parenting. We who have two parents, we don't realize how lucky we are. We could still sing to him, he who mata, pita to him, he who. And some children grow up without a father in the house. Daughter, son. He said, your mother never gave up. You were deprived of all that you have. You're treated badly. You lose the house and land to your cousins. And, but your mother always will continue to be a good lady. So he didn't call him by his name, Arjun, no? For everybody English. Asanchaya Mahabaho. First, you're a strong fella. You're a strong people. You're not weak people. Bo babe, sons, daughters, every time you feel you need to be depressed or suicidal, he's saying, hey, Oh, strong people understand your problem, but you're strong people. You don't give up. Grow up. Don't have a breakdown. Have a breakthrough. You're strong people. Are you following me, children? Then by calling counter, yeah? he says, hey, your mother didn't give up. People like you shouldn't give up. Grow up. When they came from India to cut cane and to work hard, if we had two days like that today, then have washrooms like we have now, children. Daughter, they didn't have pharmacy like we have now, you know. The car didn't have, they didn't have car self. But did they give up? Through them, we could still sit on chairs like these and sing Bhagwan Ke Naam. He's reminding, remember your parents, your grandparents, when they went through, and how fast you're ready to give up. Abhyas yoga to count yeah? And practice now, practice detachment gradually. Now join your palms and recite this verse for me as a prayer to give you strength. Words that came from the lips of Bhagwan Shri Krishna himself. That when you have problems, beloved children, you are strong people. Chant your Guru Mantra. Put a smile on your face, Bhagwan in your heart like Hanumanji. And your mountain of problems will be like a grain of sand. So you could pray with joy and peace. Repeat after me. Say, Shri Bhagwan Uvacha Asanchayam. Mahabaho Mano Dur Nigraham Chalam 
अभ्यासेन टू कौंतेय वैरागेन च गृह्यते नटवर नागर नंदा भजोर मन गोविंदा नटवर नागर नंदा भजोर मन नटवर नागर नंदा भजोर मन गोविंदा नटवर नागर नंदा भजोर मन शाम सुंदर मुख चन्ना भजोर मन गोविंदा शाम सुंदर मुख चन्ना भजोर मन गोविंदा नटवर भजोरे मन गोविंदा नटवर नागर नंदा भजोरे मन गोविंदा भजोरे मन गोविंदा भजोरे मन गोविंदा बोलो बच्चों वृंदावन बिहारी लाल देखी सो भगवान सेज प्रैक्टिस अ लिटल बिट चिल्ड्रन इफ यू गो इन पूजा रूम द फर्स्ट डे एंड यू पुट वन फुट लाइक दिस नेट फुट लाइक दिस एंड यू ट्राई टू प्रे फॉर हाफ एन आवर वेलकम डॉटर you will say you know what i am born for this kind of thing i can't sit for this long therefore the first day start with one minute practice for one minute and later you'll develop into two minutes son can you swim the first day you try to swim how much water you drink <laughs> there you go did you give up you have to practice If you see a jumpin of course you would make it but if you practice one day you'll become an able swimmer look how nice you play the drum i remember that when you first started you could play the drum there you but you didn't give up i know what you like a professional i have to tell you what to play look at the harmonium player i keep shifting scales left and right but he's not watching me cut i <laughs> he jumping in there in a company like that Why? Because we bhakti and bhav, we're not going for perfection. We're going for affection to love God. And Jai Bhagwan Shri Ram. Now the first day he played that, even the dog ran. <laughs> But look at him today. So to with your prayers, don't give up on yourself. Abhyas yoga to count here. Yeah. Welcome, dear Uta. Bhagwan bless you. Practice one minute, two minutes. And one day, beloved, when you sing Chama Sun, oh, you'll see God in front of you, and we offer flowers and tulsi leaves. Bajore man go vinda, natvar na gar nanda. Bajore man go vinda, natvar na gar nanda. Bajore man go vinda, natvar na gar nanda. Bajore man, vrinda ban bihari lal ki jai. That is the thing, son. Jai Bhagwan Shri Ram. Jai Bhagwan. I don't give nature. I do warriors give blessings. <laughs> Beloved children, now Arjun understands. Okay, I can't do it. He was he going to treadmill? <laughs> Holy moly! You only had to hang towel and short pants in it afterwards. You don't use it again. <laughs> don't break your foot the first day, children. A little bit. Dhire dhire chalna ram ram bol. Dhire dhire chalna like a baby trying to creep. Daughter, when your son was trying to walk. Every time you fall down, you say, "Stop trying, stop trying, child. You're going to fall down." How many times did you take before you said, "Stop trying to walk"? You didn't, did you? You know, one day for sure he will walk. So too, don't stop trying. Stop crying and start trying. Stop booing and start doing. Stop straying and start praying. So a little bit at a time. Practice. Just like standing on your head. Just like plow. All the different yoga asana. Just like lifting your leg up and holding your toe like this. Dhire dhire chalna, a little bit like dancing as well, too, babe. And one day it will be so easy to do. Praying will be a joy, like swimming, like dancing, like playing the drums. Praying will be a wonderful natural thing. And Arjun asks a question. Bhagwan, I understand. Like how you how you understand. But here's the part now, the B part for all of us. Suppose somebody dies before they master that. Suppose somebody dies in an accident or a strange condition. Suppose you went to sleep and you didn't get up. Where does that soul go when you pass away? Mukunda Madhav Govinda Bol Keshav Madhav Hari Hari Bol. Mukunda Madhav Govinda Bo Keshav Madhav Hari Hari Bo Mukunda Madhav Govinda Bo Keshav Madhav 
चिन्नो भय विभ्रष्ट चिन्ना भ्रम इव नेश्यति अप्रष्टितो महाबाहो विमूढो ब्रह्मण पति ब्रह्मणो पति नारायणाय कृष्णाय गोविंदाय नमो नमः नारायणाय कृष्णाय परमात्माय नमो नमः यू सी बिलावेट चिल्ड्रन थिंक we plan how we will do tomorrow. If you go on a holiday, you plan what you will do. You plan how much clothes you will take. Your foreign exchange, make sure your visa is in order. If we have to travel one day, did you plan how you're going to travel? Do you know where you're going? Oh yeah, we're going to heaven, Baba. They say when you're dead, you're going to heaven. You come no different to Chulbul in the airport. Sun wave, I'm going to India. Yeah, you're going to India. Yeah, passport, what do you call so? You have visa? Huh? You have Ram Nam stamped? Nope, he didn't fix anything. You enjoy life eating doubles outside the airport? Drinking Coca-Cola? Sorry, I didn't mean to call any brand name. Water. <laughs> when they have to announce the flight, no papers. He didn't fix any documents. You're not going anywhere. And if you do get any plane, they'll fling you right back out. Beloved children, we all have to fly one day. For an easy hundred marks, finish this line for me. Ek din hume. You know what? You get a hundred marks. Let's go for a little more. Ek din hume bhi jana hai. Ek din hume bhi jana hai. Jag chala jate hai. So poor Chulbul, not unlike any one of us, we think we'll be going there. We, if you go in New York, you make sure you line up for hours before to get your visa stamped. But did you make any effort knowing you were going to travel one day to fix your visa or know what it's about? Do you know where you're going? You may want to go in there, but you may end up in Grenada or Antigua or somewhere. And I'll send you right back here. Fix your papers. But suppose you die and then fix your papers now. He says, Bhagwan, what happens to those souls who die in an accident or in a coma or didn't get up or they die in unfortunate circumstances? What becomes of them? Do they go upstairs? Do they go downstairs? Are they like a thorn, a, a thorn cloud? It's neither up in the sky, it's stuck in the mountains. Are they in some state of limbo somewhere when they die? What happens to those souls, Bhagwan? Narayanai Krishna, Govinda, Namo Nama. Narayanai Krishna, Paramatma, Namo Nama. Krishna Bhagwan said, Join your palms, children, and repeat after me. This is where Bhagwan now starts to shower his knowledge. Forgive him for being literal. When Bhagwan takes up his lota from the sky now and is sprinkling, accept this knowledge and be blessed, children. May it purify you. Please recite after me. Say, Shri. Bhagwan Uvaj. Again, Shri Bhagwan Uvaj. This is important, children. It means Bhagwan said. Now, in English books, they have the blessed Lord said. Okay, drop your hands for a moment. Relax. I want to talk to my children a little bit now about some things in Hinduism. You know, say Lord Krishna said, and Lord Rama said, and the Lord is speaking to, and we get really conditioned when we say the Lord said. And Lord Ganesh and Lord Hanuman and Lord Shiva. Listen, children. Lord is a different word. 
In England, in the aristocratic society, somebody would call the Lord Birmingham, Lord Chestershire. You don't know what he's eating, what he's drinking, what kind of married life he has, but he's Lord Chestershire. Hold on. Son, do you own a piece of land? Look, he's a landlord, he's a lord too. It's a good thing, God bless you. Hold on, there's more. If you go in a high court, there's a fellow you call, he's a judge, you call him a lord. You know what kind of life he's living, what kind of diet he's on, what, how he's living with his little hen, you call him a lord. Hold on. A fellow is selling drugs, you call him a drug lord. Drug lord, landlord, this, and you're going to call my Hanumanji lord like them? There's a different word, that category. If you think of drug lord and landlord, God bless you, but don't read the word for Lord Hanumanji and Lord Ganesh and Lord Rama. Say Bhagwan Shri Ram. Recite. Say Bhagwan Shri Ram. Say Ganesh Baba. Ganesh Bhagwan. Hanuman Baba. How nice it sounds. And think of what Lord means when you hear drug lord and landlord. Don't have excess on, but I explain a point now. If you think what I'm saying is wrong, don't watch me vex. Come afterwards and say, Baba, but as Hindus learn to use certain words like Bhagwan Shri Ram, Ganesh Baba, Hanuman Baba, to say Lord Ram, Lord Ganesh, and the drug lord and the landlord, was it diff? You are, am I making sense, Baba? So you see, the Lord said, say Bhagwan Shri Krishna said, and start getting accustomed with that. Now I might forget and say Lord Krishna because I grew up hearing it in school. You might make the mistake, so I wouldn't go for you. <laughs> So don't watch me hard if I make the mistake. We will love, we'll correct one another, and the generation coming up will learn to say Ganesh Baba and Lord Ganesh. And if you hear Pandit saying, the Lord said, don't watch him hard. Because we say, all of us have to come out of it. So other words I'll talk to you about, but I'll try to tell you why, so you'll understand my reasoning. So don't say Lord Ganesh and Lord Krishna. And the Lord said, it's Ganesh Baba, Bhagwan Shri Krishna. Do you follow, children? One more time, please. Say, Partha, Naiva, Namutra, Vinash, Tasya, Vidyate, Nahi, Kalyan, Krit, Kaschid, Durgatim, Tat, Kachati. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Bolo Vrindavan Vihari Laliki. Welcome, children. Well, even Bhagwan had to sprinkle water for you children to come to bless the place. Good day, welcome. Now we complete, all my children are here. Uh, Devta, please sit where I could see you. Not that Bhaj go fall asleep and I'll catch her, but um, <laughs> you're reaching a wonderful part of the Katha, beloved. Bhagwan is saying, listen, people may forget, but Bhagwan doesn't forget anything good you do, daughter. If I pass away, and while when I passed, my mind wasn't on Bhagwan. Some mistake I made in my life went a different direction. He said, no for certain, Arjun, my devotee never falls here or hereafter. What about all the Shivratri you went to and Chiravijal? What about the puja? What about all the dan and dakshina you gave? God is not blind. He's saying there are many lokas. Bhu, bhuva, swa, maha, jana, tapasalo, kisami, pesayujna. You spend countless years there. And I'm giving you briefly now, and according to your karma, I put you in homes where you'll have food to eat and water to drink, and it will not distract you. Something you'll pull you towards satsang. It is Mother's Day. It's nice to put up your feet and relax home. Some people say, oh, put your feet down and do some exercise. But you came to satsang. You could have made an excuse and say the weather or whatever. Something in you, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, please go home and read it, chapter 6, the whole last section. Something in you, when you're born back, will pull you towards satsang. Whether you're born here, or you're in Guyana, or America, something will pull you to satsang. And in this lifetime, you'll make an effort to propel yourself forward towards Bhagwan. You okay, Lord? Sorry about that. It's one of my techniques to bring the mind to the present. I just give away one secret. <laughs> Beloved children, listen again. Know for certain my devotee never falls. 
So if in a weak moment something happened to me, Bhagwan is saying, listen, you wouldn't make it out of the Maya, but you'll go to one of the higher lokas and spend countless years. And then come in a family where you'll have access to this dharma, this karma all over again. Some things, babe, children are hard to forget. People may not forget stuff. Bhagwan is saying, hey, once upon a time, three people went to the Baba with their marital problems. One fellow had a bundle of grass on his head. Last time I said it was men, let's put ladies this time. The lady had a bundle of grass on her head. The next lady had a lot on her head. Just like this one. No, it's a bigger one, sorry. And the next lady had a glass on her head. Now, hearing about their problems in their marriage, Bhagwan told the first lady with the grass on her head, take the grass and throw it on the ground, meaning take your worries off your head. She threw it on the ground. Told the fellow with the lota, take your lota and put it on the ground. He took the lota and put it on the ground. Told the lady with the glass, take the glass and put it on the ground. He asked the lady with the glass, what happened to the glass when you put gate, when you dashed it on the ground? She said, Baba, it break up. Tell the glass, glass you're sorry. She said, glass, I'm sorry. He said, okay, what happened? He said, well, the glass still break. He said, go home and think about that. You told the glass I'm sorry, but it's still broken. But tell you sorry. I know what it's still getting on for. But the glass is broken. And you dash it down. He has the only the low tack. Come to Lotus, babe. Say, Baba, it's dent up, but you can still use. Go home and think about that. Many people got it dent up, but they're moving on. And the first person, what the first person had on her head, son? Bundle, grass. Come to the grass, nothing. Sometimes we are such weak people. We are broken and we can't come back together. So now you get a little dent in your marriage, a little quarrel and things, you're good to go. Even it falls in the mud, it shines a little better sometimes. Some of us, Jaya Bhagwan, Kama, whatever it is we talk, spoke about that at the beginning. Coming to a close now, people mightn't forgive, forgive you. They might forget all the good that you did, they may shatter your heart. Bhagwan is saying, beloved, I didn't forget all the good you did. I can make you whole again. And all the good that you see, little such thing you came here to when I said, throw your hands and pray, and you did. I may not have seen it, but my boss saw it. And he saw how much love you had. You left your home to come to pray. You joined your palms and you prayed with all your mind and heart. He's not blind to that. And you don't lose, babe. And I will bless you to go into different locals. Not everybody go in the same realm. For homework, for the young people, daughter, I want you to go home, whether it's your computer or any textbooks, with people, um, qualified people writing and see the different heavens how described in different faiths. See if there are ladies in heaven. See if Indian ladies are in heaven or black. Or see if only very, very fair ladies are there. And what is their purpose there if it's to serve men only? Then read about H-E-L-L. -L. And then tell me what you think about God who has nothing better to do with endless time than to keep torturing you. When I could forgive you, think about it, don't condemn yet. I want you to cogitate, ruminate, meditate, pray and think. We are a nation, we're sorry, we are people of dharma, which means you must think and grow and seek and realize. Bhagwan says, beloved, countless years in those higher regions and daughter, then you come to a home like this. You have food to eat, water to drink, you have your up and down, but you'll have a chance to pray. I don't know how children like you, beloved, didn't give up on God. You are teaching to all of us. The Rama in Kathai probably prepared to come, and he told me his Gita, so I'm reading from your book. The Katha was about that self, babe. That people, why you keep praying? I told you the Bhagavad Gita last year. I thought we prayed, or what you praying again for what God deaf? Did he forget we prayed? No, beloved. Bhagwan in Ramayana, Valmik Maharaj, you were saying, those who remember to pray, in their heart you should reside. Who do remember? Who keeps remembering those who passed on and pray for their welfare as well? In the hearts of such people may you reside. 
Bhagwan Shri Krishna is saying, beloved children, that those people know for certain they're not in any place of where you should worry. Countless years. And then they come back here and they're born in such a family where they don't have any suffering. In this birth, beloved children, some people remember, some people don't. Another time, I'd like very much to share that with you. What is the findings now in science? Is there any proof that people are reborn? And is a resounding yes. Please read the latest book by Dr. Deepak Chopra and other doctors who have studied thousands of American children who remember their past lives, which findings were confirmed by empirical evidence. Saying all of this, beloved, and reminding and reassuring us that those of us who have lost near and dear ones, who did their pujas, they did not lose in the end. Bhagwan Shri Krishna smiles and he says to Arjun, so too, child, may you be blessed here and hereafter. Please join your palms as we search for and come to the end of chapter 6, which I advise you to go home and to read. Om Tat Sariti Shrimad Bhagavad Gita Supnishat Su Brahm Vidyayam Yoga Shastri Shri Krishna Arjun Sambhadi Atma Sanyogunam Kashtam Vadhyay Samaptam Bolo Bachchum Vrindavan Vihari Lale Ki Jai Bolo Pyaare Vrindavan Vihari Lale Ki Jai